What's going on YouTube? Today we're we'll talking about earnable crafting stations, specifically those that you can earn while scrying. No longer do crafting stations have to be a symbol of the rich and wealthy. Don't you want to be able to just teleport to your home and just have easy access to a crafting station where you could just go deconstruct your items to get back into the main world. So today we're going to be going over every single station that you can dig up through scrying, where the leads are, and how you can acquire them. It'll be a super easy, quick overview, and we'll be highlighting some amazing furniture items, which you know that I absolutely adore. So starting us off, you can see the three in front of me. And you may notice that one is missing, and I will have to go to somebody else's home afterwards because... Um, I may or may not have uh, not been able to get the final lead for that one, but psh, I'm sure you guys will be luckier than I am. Starting us off, we have the Daedric Enchanting Table. Now, the Daedric Enchanting Table is going to come from the Deadlands slash Fargrave, and you'll need to have level 7 scrying to dig up these leads. However, the leads are going to come from the final boss from the Atoll, um, which is the Oblivion Portal. Uh, area you're also going to be able to get one of the leads from safe boxes in both the far grave area and the deadlands and the final boss is going to drop from enchanting runes all of which is relatively simple you don't have to do any crazy dungeons which is what i struggled with with one of these items here uh, so it's actually relatively easy to get and it acts as you can see as just a normal enchanting station which i think looks absolutely amazing Next up, we have the Anvil of Orsinium, which actually looks amazing. It's a big old anvil on top of bear skin, and you only have to get one lead for it, just one singular lead. All you have to do is go to the public dungeon in Orsinium, so this is going to require you to have the Rothgar expansion. And all you have to do is kill things in the public dungeons. It can drop from bosses, it can drop from trash mobs, it can drop from any sort of anything that you kill in there. What I would say is, is that overall it was a very easy item to get. I did not have to spend a lot of time in the public dungeon to get an overall. It looks great and it operates as a traditional blacksmithing station. Next we have one of the most tedious items to get and that is the Druid Provisioning Station. Now, why is it tedious you might be thinking? Well, unfortunately, instead of doing your traditional scrying you have to actually go pick up items in the overworld now the eso hub has a really great resource map that e makes it easy to kind of see where these items are so i'm going to put them on screen for you the first one being the blending broom stick you can see where that is the clay cooling pitcher as well as the cracked stone grill the judetic kettle spout uh, judetic pestle painted elk clay pot perpetuation surface smooth stone grinder the wood fire chamber and the woven straining bowl now obviously that's a lot of little bits and pieces for you to pause through and go and see um i don't want to blow it out this runtime by either including somebody else's video of them doing it um, or me trying to find this on another alternate character but these map markers are there for you that you're able to go out and pick up these items for it's not the worst thing in the world um, but it is a little bit more time consuming um, then definitely than the anvil, but it is very much worth it because this thing looks pretty amazing. And finally, I had to ask in defeat for somebody to help me portray this item because I didn't want to be a weenie and just show you guys a picture of it because there is a lead that I have been unable to get and it's not even the daily quest one. Usually those are the tricky ones when it comes to getting leads, um, but thank you uh, T with Ivy because I was hopeless in getting this lead, uh, but that is a good segue to us talking about the leads. What leads do you need? So you need three, so we're back to our traditional, you get three leads. Uh, the first one, as I was telling you, daily quests in Galen, which by the way, you should do anyway because they're extremely profitable to farm those uh, daily quests in Galen. Then group event boss in Ghost Haven Bay, which is the public dungeon. Uh, which is again another very easy one and then the one that uh pff, apparently i don't have any luck in uh is the final boss of wayrest sewers 2 which can be done on both normal or veteran uh depending on if you needed anything else from there such as the monster set on veteran you could certainly farm it on veteran if you would like but you do not have to your odds are the same which is a common misconception that some people have but 
that is the final item, and hopefully one day it'll be in my house, but um, unfortunately uh, not today. But thank you again, uh, T with Ivy, because I was hopeless, and I had to ask in guild chat like a dumb dumb to ask to come to people's houses to show off this item. But that is going to wrap up the video. We're actually going to wrap up in their video. I mean, look at this bad man pajama. It's beautiful. It's all handcrafted, too. But, 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 that is going to wrap up the video. And you guys might be thinking to yourself, Jake, it's the, it's the first of the month. It's actually the second of the month. That is right. And we have two new giveaway winners. You'll be able to see them finally on screen here for you. And I am doing a new giveaway drawing. So switching it up this month. So... Now we're going to pull one comment from everybody, but we are also going to pull one of the funniest comments that I see. So whatever comment makes me laugh the most will become a winner. And it's a short month. So February is the shortest month out of the year. And we will now be pulling a random subscriber. So just being subscribed is going to be enough to enter you into the drawing. So if you're don't like commenting constantly because you watch on your Xbox and some of you guys say you watch on devices like Xboxes, Playstations where it's hard to leave comments, all you have to do is be subscribed. So again, every comment is entered, funniest comment will be pulled and we will also be pulling a random subscriber from my public subscribers list. You do have to announce yourself as a public subscriber, uh, it's just a box that's automatically checked for like 99% of profiles. but. You do have to be a non-hidden subscriber, whatever that would mean to make sure you're entered. But as long as you've never fiddled with your YouTube settings, that should be fine. Um, but, but, but that is going to wrap up the video. We are going to be doing a golden vendor video tomorrow. We will be streaming on Saturday. We're going to be building an obstacle course because I'll be looking to do some guild events. And shout out to the Discord because we will be ramping up the Discord as well as our Xbox activities and things to do together but don't worry if you don't play on xbox and a as we're going to be talking to you guys in stream we're going to be hosting events we're going to be answering questions and doing everything we can to help propel the community and make the eso community as amazing as it is and uh build upon the community that we have so that's what the plan is for the old weekend and friday i hope you guys have an amazing weekend and i'll catch you guys later bye guys you better remember to like and subscribe to jake clips or you should. I might have to pluck your eyes if you don't. Or, better yet, I'll skip rope with your entrails! Do it now. Subscribe. Ta-ta. Off with you. post outro. I don't have anything super crazy, but if you do want to help um, with the building of the obstacle course, I plan to give people permission to edit my house and just throw a whole bunch of items down and let people go crazy with it. We'll probably build it on stream uh, this weekend, so that should be relatively interesting. You don't have to be in the guild to enter or to help. All you have to do is shoot me a message on the old Xbox. I'm sure you guys all know my Xbox profile at this point. What I would say, though, is if you shoot me a message on Discord, it will usually it's easier to read because sometimes Xbox doesn't notify me as fast as it should because it delivers everything silently. So just keep that in mind, but um, thank you guys again so much for your help, and I'll catch you later.